Hi, my name is Susan Rowland, and I'm from Maine. And uh, I wrote my testimony testimony before I knew about Silent No More, so it was called Why I March. I march because my Uncle George died April 23, 1951, in the Korean War, fighting for my freedom. I march because in 1973, when Roe v. Wade decision was handed down, I had no idea it would soon affect my life. I march because at 17, I was pregnant and scared. I march because if abortion were not legal in 1975, my parents would not have chosen it as an option for me. I march because I will never forget the kind eyes of the physician who calmed me as he replaced the amniotic fluid of my baby with a burning salt solution. I march because I cannot give voice to the horror of my child burning in my body. I march because I can still hear the screaming and cursing of young girls in labor giving birth to death. I march because I delivered a dead baby boy on August 1st, 1975 in a cold, in a cold metal bedpan. I baptized him with my tears as we lay together while the night nurse talked on the phone. I marched because he would be 34. I named him Stephen. I march because when I returned home, my mother's face and tears told me that she had no idea that a salient abortion meant labor, delivery, and death. Her tears and the prayers of the church are what, are what kept me from taking my own life. I marched because I knew I, because I know that I was not alone in my Holocaust. At least 20 other young women, ages 16 to 18, were also there for those three days. Their parents, all law-abiding citizens, who would never have chosen abortion if it had been illegal. I march because I know firsthand the suffering that murder in the womb causes. I march because so many of you have marched for me when my heart was laden and I could not lift my feet. I march because I love my parents and I do not want the death of my Uncle George and my baby Stephen to be in vain. And I will march until America stands for life and I will be silent no more.